No, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs>、hey everybody, Drift Fett here with another video. This time bringing you guys yet another Marvel figure review.、Uh, this time of the.、Uh, Brace yourself, this is a long title. The Amazing Spider Man Movie Series 6 Inch Spider Man with Interchangeable Head, and it's a Walmart exclusive. So, yeah,、um, really cool figure, but it does have its problems, which I think holds it back from being a great figure. So, but before I get into talking about the figure itself,、uh, let's have a look at the card back it comes on.、Um, Here's a look at the card. A pretty standard stuff if you've seen any of the Amazing Spider Man movie series figures.、Uh, we got a little picture of、uh, Spider Man from the movie up here doing his web slinging business. The Amazing Spider Man movie logo.、Um, then it says movie series. Pretty plain in here, just kind of light blue with Photoshop y stuff.、Uh, on the back, we have a little read up on Spider Man and a picture of the、um, very nice looking prototype, but unfortunately, The final product is not quite that good looking. But it still is a nice looking figure. So,、um, let me read the little read up、uh, movie edition Spider Man. As a new chapter in Spider Man hit movie history begins, a new star steps into the legendary Spider Man suit. Celebrate the next big screen web slinger with this special movie edition figure that features the likeness of the amazing Spider Man star Andrew Garfield. And、it says super articulated,、uh, not quite.、Uh, interchangeable head.、Uh, skateboard attaches to backpack. And、uh, build a base. And then the,、uh, two of the other figures in the wave, which are Ultimate Spider Man and Lizard. Both of which I saw at the store, but I passed on because I didn't think that they looked that interesting. So, yeah. I had seen this figure a few times before in my local Walmart.、Uh, I passed up on him. Just, you know, it's just like, okay, it's another Spider Man, don't really need it. But I just kind of eventually broke down, just like, you know,、um, I would like to have a figure of the amazing Spider Man from the movie, and it、uh, has an interchangeable Peter Parker head, and at the very least, I'll get some cool accessories out of it,、uh, which are the backpack and skateboard. So, yeah. Uh, let's get on to、uh, talking about the figure. So here we are with the figure out of packaging.、Um, yeah, like I said, a really nice looking figure in my opinion, but it does have its flaws that keep it from being a really great figure. I just know some things that、um, Hasbro could have done, but they didn't, and it, I think it really hurts、uh, this figure overall. But you know, it's still a nice figure, not bad for,、uh, especially if you're、uh, new into like the、uh, Marvel 6 inch scale and you want to get a good Spider Man. I think this is a decent Spider Man for you. So, yeah,、um, first thing to talk about the biggest feature of this is that it does have an interchangeable head. Let me get this to focus on there. You can see that's the Andrew Garfield unmasked head.、Um, a decent head sculpt, I think. Let me pop it off the figure. Focus, focus, focus. Let's see if it focuses. Alright, I think that's decent enough. So it is a decent、uh, likeness. Not the best, but not the worst uh, either. Uh, it's really hard, honestly, to.、Uh, For、uh, these company, toy companies to get a great likeness of、uh, real life actors. But I think that、uh, Hasbro did a decent job with this figure.、Um, you, you can recognize him as Andrew Garfield, even though it might not be the best likeness of Andrew Garfield. You can see he's got the big hair, like from the movie. And what's really unique about this and interesting is it has this kind of like metallic bronze paint washed in the hair. Like it's got this dark brown base coat, and then they did some.、Uh, A wash of bronze paint on it, so it has this nice、uh, reflective look to it, which I think overall is pretty darn cool.、Um, hair in real life, for instance, you know, is、uh, shiny, especially if you have、uh, brown hair. Trust me, I know about it.、Um, so I think that they,、uh, that's actually a nice touch that they did to it.、Um, definitely、um, wasn't needed, but I'm glad that Hasbro did it anyway. So, yeah, that's the Andrew Garfield head. I,、uh, also, the figure also does include a masked Spider Man head, which is,、uh, I really do like this, especially on the、uh, eye goggle part, I think.、Um, I believe in the movie he like, makes it out of sunglass lenses, so that's pretty cool. You can see it's got this kind of reflective gold look to it. Very nice, like in the movie. 
Um, does look really cool. Mine did have a few paint problems where, um, if you can tell that there are some, like, there is some black paint in the crevices of the mask. Not everywhere, though. It's kind of weird. But, um, you can tell that it is there in some places. And some parts it got, it kind of blotched onto, uh, um, I forget, I don't even know what you'd call it, but, you know, you can tell where the lines are, but kind of blotched onto the actual, like, uh, little squares of his mask. So I had to go over it with kind of like a permanent marker with a red marker and uh, go over it a little bit to make it look nicer, which I don't think it's uh, that noticeable that I did that, so that's, uh, I'm glad about that. So um, that helped the look of the figure a lot. And I think that the black wash that they did in the lines of the mask does look really cool. Uh, definitely it looks a lot better than if they had just left it, um, all one red piece. Then it would not have l- looked near as good. So, yeah, that's a look of the two head sculpts. Probably the most, uh, the feature that most everybody's gonna buy this figure for is, uh, to have the interchangeable heads. So those are really cool. Um, let's pop on the Spider-Man head for the review. So, yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, really cool looking figure. Um, just articulation is not the best. Um, let's go over the articulation. So pretty much this is a, an upscaled version of the three and three quarter inch Amazing Spider-Man superposable Spider-Man figure, which for that scale, this articulation would be absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. When I say fantastic, but for a six inch figure um, the articulation definitely is lacking in some parts so the head um, you already saw it has this weird kind of this reminds me of old toy biz neck articulation where you just pop the head it's like on this kind of uh, s- uh, stick uh, out that's poking out of this joint here you can that it moves up and down so it's not a ball and peg I guess it's, I don't really know what you'd call this joint really but um, you do get a decent range of motion. He can look full 360 around and up. Um, he can look about that much up. However, if you uh, since this is interchangeable, you can push this thing back all the way. And if you want to, you can uh, put put the head on like that. It looks a little weird if it's that back that much. But say like right here, if you want to have him looking up like that. Um, you can just have it, his head kind of half resting on the joint, so you can get him to look up a really good bit, um, enough, at least for a Spider-Man figure that you'd want for posing. And he can look down a good bit too, you know, kind of sad Spider-Man, Uncle Ben just died, I'm sad, uh, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, he has this kind of ball jointed, uh, I think. What am I thinking? Shoulder. Yeah. Sorry. A little bit tired while I'm doing this review. Probably not the best combination, but I will make do. Um, he can rotate right here. He has double jointed elbows, and his wrist can go up and down and spin. So the arms are nice, even though what I really wish it had a uh, wrist joint, or not a wrist, but kind of like a glove joint. That would have made things a lot cooler, I think. Uh, just personal preference. Um, same thing for the other arm. Though a big complaint I have with this figure is it does not have a web slinging hand. You have a Spider Man figure that does not have a web slinging hand. What is up with that? Hasbro, do you not realize that the main thing people buy Spider Man figures for so they can have web slinging? And you don't have a web slinging hand? Come on. That's just not smart in my opinion, but anyway, I'm not one to judge. So he does have this kind of like gripping, wall crawling type hand, and he has a fist, so that's cool. But so you can get him in some cool like web uh, wall crawling poses, or like he's beating up some thugs, that stuff. But you cannot have him web slinging, which is a disappointment. So um, at the end of this review, I'm going to compare this figure with a Toy Biz uh, Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man, so you can just see how they did so many things right back then that Hasbro still is not doing right now so anyway um, moving on to another big complaint of mine is the um, articulation in this area of the body the midsection he has this diaphragm joint which is meh I'm not a big fan of diaphragm joints to be honest I I think that they don't really 
work that well. You can't get a lot of motion out of them. So he can he can bend down about that much with the diaphragm joint, which is not a lot at all. Um, and he can go up. Oh, accidentally pop off the head. Um, he can go up about that much, which is still not that great. I do like, however, that they continued the uh, paint underneath here. So if you have him looking up a bit, it still looks like the spider symbol is consistent. Which is something they did not do on the back of the figure, which I'll talk about in just a sec. I need to remove this backpack from him. Um, so yeah, the diaphragm joint you can look around a bit. Um, it, it's, you get some resistance after you turn it about that much. And you can see that the spider logo is no longer uh, lining up. Which I really wish this thing had an actual waist joint. It does not have a waist joint at all. You can see it's just sculpted. So if they had a waist joint, then you can have him turning it around with the um, the spider logo still remaining like straight on consistent. But they don't have that for some reason. I don't get it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, fairly disappointing. Um, it would work on a three and three quarter inch scale, but on a six inch scale, that's just sad. So um, he has this kind of ball. I think it's Y joint is what you call it at the uh, at the hip. So you can get him in some decent poses there. He has double jointed knees and another articulation problem I have. I wish he had like some kind of articulation here, like at the boot, I guess you would say. But he doesn't, so that also limits um, the posability of him. But he does. He, he can point his toe and flex it uh, a little bit, flex it a little bit, but point it. And he does have an ankle pivot, so you can get him in some wide-legged stances. So you can give him, you can still give him in some cool Spider-Man stances. Don't get me wrong, but I just think that if Hasbro had made those small, minor touch-ups with the articulation, like um, a waist joint. I mean, seriously, a figure without a waist joint is just sad. Um, and like having a, a swivel here, like kind of like the boot area, it just would have made things a lot better. Um, but yeah, the the paintwork on this guy is pretty darn good. The sculpting is nice. You can feel when you feel the figure, it is textured. Uh, it, it does have like the Spider-Man suit uh, texture on it, so that's really nice. Um, maybe you can see it on camera. Maybe you can't, but let's see if you can focus on that. I don't know if you can tell or not on the camera. But um, it is textured nicely, and the paintwork is for the most part neat. Um, it, does, it is a little sloppy at parts. Like I said, I talked about the mask had a little bit of black paint leaking on it, but I, cu I fixed that with a marker. And um, yeah, the Spider-Man logo is painted on there nicely. Let's talk about the accessories he has. Um, we already talked about the Andrew Garfield head. Let me talk about his backpack and skateboard real quick. So as you can see, the backpack does fit on him nicely. I, I, I actually prefer... Just um, having him displayed with the backpack on than with it off. Actually, that's I don't know if that's kind of weird or not, but I think they he does look really cool with the backpack. Um, looks like you know he's just got off school and he's uh, going and uh, doing some crime fighting. You know, uh, maybe he has his camera in his backpack. He's gonna take some pictures of Spider-Man kicking butt. Sell it to J. Joe and Jameson. Whatever. Uh, there we go. So, uh, yeah, let me give you guys a shot at the back of the figure. So you can see there's the Spider-Man logo on the back. Uh, I actually think that they used that logo in the promotional material for the movie more than they did the front one. That's kind of weird. But, um, whereas on the front, if you put the diaphragm joint up, you can see that the lines on the spider are still continue up. Um, if you point it down, the lines just have a little break there. I don't get that. Why is there a break in the paint? So, I mean, if you're going to do it for the front, why not do it for the back? I guess they're counting on people having Spider-Man displayed at all times with this backpack on. But that would have been nice if they had continued that paint. So, um, on the back, it only looks really good if you have them, like, kind of standing straight up. So, yeah, you can see there's kind of, like, the belt area and continues around and the back of the head and whatnot. So that's what he looks like um, without the backpack on. So, cool. Let me adjust the camera up a bit. There we go. So, uh, the accessories. I do really like the accessories. I think that's really cool. Um, let me take this skateboard out of the strap on the backpack. There we go. So we can talk about the backpack. Uh, for the most part, it's just this solid kind of baby blue, sky blue uh, paint. Would have been nice to have some more paint details, but it is just, after all, a backpack. Um, there is some, like, gray paint for, like, the, these straps, and he does have a cloth 
uh, black strap so you can put the skateboard on there, which is really nice. Moving on to the skateboard, um, nice uh, sculpt work on the skateboard, actually, really nice. Um, you can see it feels kind of, if you've ever touched a skateboard, that um, this feels like that. And you can see it's got, I don't know if you can make it, there you go, you can see when the light reflects it, you can see like where they sculpted like the nails in there. On the bottom, there's no real substantial paint work, but there, you can see that they did sculpt like scratches in there, like he's been doing a bunch of tricks and stuff. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't really know any skateboard terminology, but um, I guess he's been like grinding on the rails and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop on ahead. So anyway, um, no real paint work on the bottom, just solid gray, which um, I'm not really complaining about. It is, after all, skateboard. You're most likely just going to be, if you display him with a skateboard, he's just going to be standing on it. You're not going to be looking at the bottom. But if you have it on the backpack, you will be looking at the bottom. So, um, But it does actually roll like that. So that's nice. And, uh, yes, yeah, so those are, oh, and uh, the build a base, which I, I don't really think this, that... I don't really think that they're th that bad as some people think, but I'm not really a fan of it either. It is helpful for getting him into some good Spider-Man poses, but um, besides that, you know, nothing really special. You can get him standing on there nicely. You can hold it upside down. So I guess if you're doing a diorama and you wanted to have him like crawling on the walls, that'd be helpful if you wanted to attach that to the ceiling or something. So, yeah, build a base, you can stack them, connect them, whatever you want to do with them. And so that's pretty much it for uh, my review of the Walmart exclusive Amazing Spider-Man movie series, Spider-Man with the Interchangeable Head. And there he is with the Andrew Garfield head again, which I do think, I actually think, I'm not sure if I'd like, it's kind of difficult. Um, I do really like this Spider-Man head sculpt again with the really nice gold paint on the eyes. But I do think I like uh, the look of the figure better with the Andrew Garfield head sculpt. I just think it looks really nice. So yeah, not a bad figure for 16 bucks. Um, Hasbro definitely could have done better. Again, uh, I just see places where Hasbro got lazy, um, where they could have improved the articulation from three and three quarter inch one, but they didn't. But that's just Hasbro now, isn't it? And it's sad because the Marvel Select Amazing Spider-Man actually has more articulation than this legend scale one, which that's just sad. I mean, Marvel Selects are known for not having a whole lot of articulation, yet the Amazing Spider-Man has more articulation than the Hasbro one. So, yeah, not a bad figure. Um, Hasbro could have done better, but it uh, still looks really good when you have them in some like wall-crawling poses. Again, disappointing you don't have a web-slinging hand, but um, not that um, I'm not that torn up over it. So... Cool figure. I recommend buying it if um, you have the chance, especially if you're new to collecting Marvel Legends scale figures. Uh, e this one isn't terrible. It just isn't great either. So, yeah, that's my review of it. Um, a quick a little info before I go that this next Saturday, the 16th, I will be in part of another live stream by RF Biker Scout. We're going to be talking about all kinds of uh, uh, toy announcements at Toy Fair, uh, talking about uh, a lot of Star Wars stuff uh, is going to be the focus, obviously, you know, uh, the Vintage Collection vehicles, the Black Series, all that should be really cool, and I also want to mention that I uh, am going to be voicing Ben Kenobi in uh, Zombie Slayers Nation's uh, Star Wars stop motion, so that should be cool, uh, thank you for picking me, Ryan, if you're watching this. And that is about it. So, yeah. Amazing Spider-Man. Also a good movie, so go watch it. So, thank you guys for watching as always. This is Joe Cravette, signing out. Bye.